I could become very popular by just becoming everybody's gossip ninja. Is this why I have these visions and this power?
Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Matt. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business?
I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I have to go find Warren and give him back his flash drive. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close... Cujo.
The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. 
So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. 